All right, we are going to do Jack Dawes Quest. I checked the wiki, and it turns out that the talents will unlock after completing this quest. I guess in all my playthroughs, it was just a coincidence that I would reach level 17 at that time, and I was thinking it was the level that unlocked the talents, but it's actually this quest. So here we go. We'll do this. Here I am, as good as my word. Yes, you are. We meet again, Richard Jackdaw. I suppose I shouldn't be surprised to see you. Only a Ravenclaw would travel this far in pursuit of knowledge. Well said. Now where do we go from here? Follow me. I shall lead you as far as I can, but I fear I may remain a tad reluctant to revisit the scene of my demise. Keep your eyes open for a birdbath. When you find it, say intramuros. I think it's Latin. Or Greek. As you can imagine, I never paid much attention in school. Shall we? Yes. Lead the way. Aside from the bird bath, anything else I should look for? Indeed. A few landmarks. A stone bridge, a waterfall, and, if I recall, a lake. You'll see. You've been very helpful. Thank you. Surprising how much of this is rather unfortunately coming back to me. Hmm. Creepy sounds. Yes. You know, the closer we get, the more I'm remembering. Probably best I leave you to it. Simply stick to the path and keep a sharp eye out for that bird bath. Adieu. Is that Latin? Or Greek? Hmm. French, babe, French. Okay, so we cannot use the disillusionment charm on this particular quest because they can smell us. So, oh no, we'll probably, I think Lumos would be more, might be needed. So let's do Lumos. Okay, here we go. Oh my gosh, this is like my least favorite. I hate spiders. Please sympathize with me. I hate spiders. I'm just like panic hitting the button because I just hate this so much. This is probably like my worst. This is going to be like my worst gameplay ever because. Of my real <laughs> fear and hate of spiders. To the squelchy sounds. Oh. And I freed him by accident when I um, used. He was wrapped up in, in a spider web. If you wonder where he came from. No one hide from me. But you like a thriller. He ended up. Uh... Sometimes I free them, sometimes I don't. Because <laughs> most of them are poachers. Incendio! Which are the bad guys. They work for Rookwood and Theopolis Harlow, so I don't always free them. I know your face now. I heard something. Okay, here we go. I'm such a scaredy cat. Beautiful. For a thief, Jackdaw's surprisingly as good as his word. I'm such a scaredy cat. I hate these spiders. Oh, and I'm not sure, but I think this works. It does. It doesn't work for all quests. Like, it um, doesn't work for treasure maps at all. Something oddly solemn about this place. Such regal creatures, stags. 
there's usually stags here at the water drinking water so it's <laughs> she's saying it even though they're not there okay so the poachers there it is just as Jackdaw described all right there's the fountain I know the password let me just make sure there's no loot Revelio. he didn't leave any gold coins over here it's just some um, jumping a couple of slugs and some jumping mushrooms intramuros That was fancier in the trailer for the game. <laughs> Aren't you a little far from home? Renrock knew you'd eventually lead us to whatever it is you're hiding. Attack! And see, these are bad Renrock guys. They've got the dragon silver you won't get away with. on their outfits, which means they're really I shall uh, they're bad so guys. No risk those loyalists will report back to Ranrock now. Let's see where Jackdaw has led me. I'm saving my ancient magic. I've only got two of those. Um, later on, we'll be able, those little blue bars that are above my um, health and below my weapons bar, those are your ancient magic. And um, you, you can increase those as well. I wonder how well. big this place is. Later in the game. Late us. Yeah. And I will be skipping some of the loot. I think in this one, unless I get lost and end up in there anyway. <laughs> I'll be skipping some of the loot because um, there's quite a bit and I just want to get Impressive. get that to Jackdaw's body. Means. Just want to find him and get the wand. Someone didn't want casual visitors down here. And the pages. I wonder if any of my spells will help me do this. Ocean. And you only have a limited time to grab those um, ancient magic drops. Oh. One benefit Another of... puzzle. Well, if Jackdaw could solve this, so can I. A benefit of not locking onto your target is like you, that spider behind me. I wouldn't have swung around and hit that one. If I had locked onto one that was in front of me. Not sure how you like to do your combat, but... I'm not using locked on targets because because of that there's often something behind you this is just so creepy oh my god I'm cringing I'm totally cringing Whew, 
it's a good thing Jackdaw didn't fall down there. Akio. This is another place you gotta watch her feet. Because she will um <laughs> step right off of these platforms, casting her Akio and And you have to release Akio here as well. I was wondering, like, what is going on? She's, she's not moving right and body blah. And it was just because I had not released the Akio. Oh gosh. Stop. 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 Me alone. I'm glad Richard Jackdaw left a little something behind for me, but where could he be? This is the part where I always get turned around. There's a couple of those um, Akio puzzles and um, lots of loot. Lots and there lots it of is. loot. But the I'm bridge. skipping it's almost complete. all of that, so I just want More you to spiders. know there's a lot of loot. These can't be what beheaded Richard Jack A lot of chests. Potato. That I'm not going to. Which is like. Because I want to get past this. I want this to be over. Akio! Oh my gosh. Levioso. Oh, Levioso's on time out. Levioso. There we go. I need to keep them airborne for seven seconds. Three. T oh, he didn't stay. I needed two more seconds to get that dueling feet. That's okay. That's okay. Incendio. Oh dear. Here we go. Let's see. That would be wonderful if I could really do that. <laughs> Farewell, monster. I can only imagine how these spiders have multiplied since Jackdaw came this way. Right? Because he got past all this. So I doubt if it was this bad for him. Use that for our Merlin trials. An untouched chest. Jackdaw wasn't very thorough in his search of this cave. I'll need to look around for the symbol. What do I, I think I want, 
I forgot to make potions. I was going to run to the potions class and make some potions. The chopping cabbage is good, but I think I'm going to start with a tentacular. And then I'll do a cabbage. I must be getting closer to Jackdaw's remains. This and so those pages. Pretty. I would love like a dining room table or a computer desk that looks just like this. So pretty. Okay, here we go. Here's poor we little Jackdaw. We meet again, Richard Jackdaw. Shame. Poor Those thing. splinters must be what's left of Ollivander's wand. At least I can take the pages. Here it is. The map that brought your doom, Jackdaw. Hmm. Is there something beyond this room? Here comes trouble. Protego! Stupid one! Okay, you hold on. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> let me let me regroup. I'll be there in a minute. You just hold on. <laughs> oh gosh. I'm such a scaredy cat. I don't know why I'm playing games where I can get beat up and stuff when I'm scared of everything. Incendio. Silly. Silly girl. Okay, got rid of you. Alright, let's can we Levioso. Nope, can't Levioso you. Incendio. At least incendio works. Stupid one. Oh, I've got an ancient magic. Have to keep my eye on it because uh, it builds up over time, and it also builds up well, when I pick up unnerving. the little bits and What's pieces. What's happening? Look at that! Look at that! Oh my gosh! To get Rebellion. everything. Since I skipped all those other loot boxes, I don't want to miss any in here. Okay. I've seen this before. In Gringotts and the restricted section. Where am I? Oh no. The room is starting to flood. How am I being protected? What sort of magic is this? I can only hope this magic protects me until I'm able to make my way out of here. What is this place? Can it be? It's you. Has someone finally found our map chamber? I recognize you from the pensives. You're Professor Rackham. 
I am indeed. I must confess that I am surprised to see someone so young standing before me. I'm the same age that you and Isadora Morganark were when you started at Hogwarts. You've paid attention. And might I presume you share our ability? To see traces of ancient magic? Yes, sir, I do. As you have likely realized by now, our ability gives us a unique relationship with all forms of magic. We can access expressions of magic that few others can. Opportunities will arise that allow you to sharpen this rare talent. Do not squander them. I won't, Professor. Thank you. We have much to discuss. But first, a map found in a certain book led you here. Place the book on the pedestal. I don't have the book with me, sir. Hmm. That is unfortunate. I'm afraid we must pause our conversation until you return with the book. The statues and carvings in the house on the cliffside, those are of you. Are you a seer? I am. Did you know that I would be here? I cannot say more at present, except to say that your presence here does not entirely surprise me. I'm a bit confused, sir. Why is this room called the map chamber? I assure you that all will be clear once the book has been placed on the pedestal. Very well. I'll retrieve the book right away. Good. We shall speak again once the book is in place. All right. Your connection to ancient magic has unlocked, unlocked talents. You will receive one talent point each time you increase your wizarding level. You have new talent points to spend in the talents menu in your field guide. That's what I was talking about, y'all. I have 13 talent points. You start earning them at level 5. Um, I always get my stealth. I want to be sneaky. So this will allow me um, to use disillusionment charm and my enemy's ability to detect, detect me is reduced. And I will do both levels of that. And I don't use the um, sprint while I'm using disillusionment so I won't waste a point on that you do not get enough talent points to buy everything so you have to be careful on how you spend your points and you cannot change your mind once you buy your point it's the, it's in that talent forever I use my fire spells all the time I use Akio, but not on enemies, and I don't use Levioso on enemies, so I won't spend any points on that. All right, now I, as a Ravenclaw, I won't be learning the three dark art spells. I only did that as a Slytherin, but you can make your regular basic casting spells work as curses by using these. So. That's what I do here. Stupefy becomes a curse. Expelliarmus becomes a curse. And, um, you want them to be cursed longer. So, that's how I use the dark arts. Core, let's, this is where you get your talent point spell sets. So I'll take row two, row three, and row four of that. Um, my ancient magic becomes more powerful in this column. So that's where I'll be spending those points. I don't use Wigan Well that much because I am playing story, um, story mode. So I'll take a make my cooldowns take less time. So that's my first batch of talent points. So you hit T and now all of these are available. And I like to put all of the same type of spells in the same row. So When I, so I always know what I'm looking for. We'll do that. 
just double up on that because once you put it there, you can't take it off. And um, <laughs> as a matter of fact, I'd rather have purple there. And I'll put my gold down there. So, um, yeah. I'll be replacing those with the, the other spells as I unlock them. But now, I can just use my scroll on my mouse to change my weapons or change whatever I need to use it for. Makes a huge difference. <laughs> Since you can only have four of them equipped at a time, So that's what I was trying to do yesterday. Not realizing that it was I the Jackdaw the quest that unlocked the it. Chamber. Why would I need the book? Okay, I found the pages. Why do I need the book? Professor Fig needed something to read on his trip to the ministry. I should have had him leave that book with me, but I didn't know. I didn't know. Let's see if he's back. All right, and we did open a flu flame, so we'll be able to fast travel to the map room now. Which is good, because you know me and the I'm spiral staircase. I'm back at Hogwarts. I wonder when Professor Fig will be back. I did promise him I wouldn't neglect my studies while he was away. Hmm, suppose I have enough to distract myself with till he returns with the book. Okay, we need our Aloha Mora now. Um, something else I didn't realize originally, Aloha Mora is taught to you. You need to learn the Pulso, the banishing charm. Useful for pushing objects or adversaries away. Complete the required tasks and meet me in my classroom. If I could undo all that happened that day, I would. Okay, oh, I think sorry. that's all the mail I'm getting. Um, I didn't realize that the Aloha Mora that is taught to you by the caretaker, Mr. Moon, is tied to you completing Pavelio. the trials. He will not give you level 2 and level 3 unlocks until you've completed the level two trial and the third trial and I kept taking him moons I was lucky I didn't run out of moons because I kept taking him moons and he still wasn't teaching me the next level so come to find out that you just might as well just hold on to the moons you collect until you have completed the trials and then you give them to caretaker moon all right um I mean Demi Guy's moons if I wasn't clear on that but I meant Demi Guy's moons all right so we are going to finally get to learn to fly which is something I do horribly so you'll get a good laugh out of this as I run my poor character into things and <coughs> oh excuse me sorry about that as I run her into things and miss rings and you'll see what I mean in a minute <laughs> it's probably easier for people who play with a controller because I am just horrible at it she can't sleep in her wonderful soft bed and stuff but she everybody grab a broom and we will just get sleep started. on any floor <laughs> waiting for class to start. Mr. Clopton, your attention, please. Sorry, Madam Kagawa. Everyone, please welcome a new student to our flying class. Welcome. Hello. Hello. The goal of today is to remind all of you how to maneuver on a broomstick safely, as broom flight is, first and foremost, a means of transportation. This, I fear, some of you have forgotten. Diving, rolling, and loop-the-loops will not be taught or in fact tolerated in this class. We'll leave that to professional Quidditch players, like the Toyohashi Tengu. Boo. 
Not a fan, I take it. Now, let's see how well everyone kept up with their practice over the summer holidays. For those who need a refresher, step up to your broom, say up firmly and clearly, then kick your leg over and rest your weight on the seat. Up! Thank you. Now, your turn. Up, 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 you stupid ratty school broom. Up. One leg over, so there's a leg on each side. None of that side saddle nonsense. A gust of wind will throw you right off. And if you hear my whistle while you're in flight, ground yourself at once. Okay. Good. Now, for your first lesson, fly through each ring in the courtyard. Do take care. The brooms oh, are school property. I think I'm getting the hang of I this. want them returned in one this piece. This will take some getting used to. Nice balance. Well done. Now that you're acclimatized to your broom, let's see how well you manage with a more advanced exercise, shall we? Okay, here's where the ugly starts. <laughs> this okay. next set of rings will take you around the grounds for more of a challenge. What have you? Hello. Nice day for a flight. This is rather fun. Ah, oh, the old boathouse. Wish you could have experienced crossing the lake as a first year. He's another nuisance. <laughs> he gets me in trouble. I understand they have to make you Whoa. do certain things. Our aquatic resident likes to make an appearance once in a while. For the storyline, but um, it's really kind of annoying that you have a type of character you want to play, but they force you to do things that your character wouldn't do, you know. Brilliant. As in now. Even if you say no to him, your character I still say, has to say, I watched it. you fly through those rings. You seem to handle yourself on that dusty school broom well enough. I'd imagine you're ready for something a bit more challenging. But I'm getting ahead of myself. We met in the common room. I'm Everett Clopton. So, care to join me for a bit of high-flying fun? Nope. Kagawa seems strict. I wouldn't want to get into trouble. Kagawa won't even notice. Besides, a bird doesn't learn how to fly by staying in the nest. Follow me. So, even though I said no, tour is about to begin. I don't want to get in trouble. Follow closely now. Right now, we're flying over the Transfiguration Courtyard. Get a Lovely as ever. There we go. Yeah, even though I say no, you know, you have to do it. So, anyway. <laughs> Try to do it as fast as possible. Let's hope the headmaster isn't having tea by the window today. Nice to get above it all, isn't it? Ahead of the gardens, the Hufflepuff common room windows just peek out. Bit claustrophobic for my taste. <sighs> How is Everett flying so quickly? Here's something handy to know. Lean forward for a burst of speed. Helpful if you need to escape a tricky situation. Oh, there he is. <laughs> I wasn't even following him. I honestly wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> now that's more like it. Oh, you gosh. sure you're not part hippogriff? I was trying to um, get close to where I'll have to land. 
Miami There's the famous bridge. Think of all the magic holding it up. I mean, look at it. And the Owlery. That's a bit of solid architecture, isn't it? Flying dips and a jaunt around Hogwarts. This is quite the tour, Everett. Okay, Everett. And that was her, her whistle. whistle. This concludes our tour. Best hurry back. That was her whistle. Looks like she's already dismissed class. Better hurry and hand in our brooms. <sighs> And where have you two been? Oh, hello, Professor. We were trying to get a bit of extra practice in. Hefty points will be taken from each of you for not following my instructions. Mr. Clopton, I am disappointed in you. You're in this class because you're still because you're still not showing yourself, or frankly, your broom the proper respect. But, Professor Enough. Class is finished for the day. As for you, you do well to use better judgment in the future. Chin up. That was some rather good flying. That sucks. I said no. I didn't want to go with him, and I still have to. Sorry about that business with Kagawa. But you have to admit, those views were worth it. No, they weren't. <laughs> Perhaps. But we did get in trouble, and Kugawa could hold it against us. Rotten luck, that. I didn't think she'd see us. But it's no matter. You seem at home on a broom. Bet if you had a fancy model, you could fly laps around Imelda. She's Kugawa's favorite. I could show her a thing or two if I had my own broom. Hate having to return the school broom after class. Perhaps I'll have to purchase a broom, then. If you can, you should. Wish I could. I recommend visiting Albie Weeks at Spintwitch is in Hogsmeade. He's always looking to test new models. I'll keep an eye out for you in the sky. So that unlocked the broom door in Hogsmeade. Next time we visit Hogsmeade, he'll be open. And we can buy our own broom and travel much faster. Um... I don't know how many galleons we have. I've not forgotten have, about our library but... venture. How did you fare? If you're keen for some illicit spell practice, meet me outside the Defense Against the Dark Arts classroom. I know a discreet place near there. All right, so we have a couple of... We need to see what Professor Sharp wants us to do to get our next spell from him. Um, we have to acquire the Focus Potion maxima and adurus potions we can i think we have enough ingredients to brew all of those but first we have to find some place to do the brewing so let's go meet professor weasley shall we she is here she is that's the one we want and um Let's see if there's any flu. It's near her. We're going to unlock that one, but this one's unlocked. I think that's the closest one to her right now. And then we'll go meet Sebastian. Please meet me in the seventh floor corridor as soon as you can. I have an idea for somewhere you can focus on your studies, away from prying eyes and distractions. Yay! There's another arithmancy door I need to unlock. Because I might need some galleons to get my broom. Which means I'll have to get some more loot. Alright, so now I could just roll down to... Levioso, 
Livioso without having to change my other weapons. My other, um, set. Okay. Anything in this hall? Rebellia. I thought there was a page in front of this tapestry. There is. It just didn't pop out at first. Here we go. All right. Professor Weasley? Hmm. Somewhere away from prying eyes. That floor is gorgeous. Forgive me, the headmaster stopped me and I... Merlin's beard! I see you've wasted no time. Well done. Shall we? After we you, shall. Professor. We shall. What is this place? This is the Womb of Requirement. It only appears when one is in real need of it. Ordinarily, a student might stumble upon this room entirely by accident. If ever. I'd only planned to suggest to you how to find it by walking past that bit of wall, focusing on what you need. But you've managed to reveal the room on your own. While I'm here, we should take advantage of the moment. Now. Where is Deke? Hmm. He must have sneaked past and gone ahead. Deke, Professor? The house elf I was speaking to in my classroom your first day. Thought he might help you use the room once you've found it. <sighs> There's no chance I'm clambering over this mess. Hmm. This presents the perfect opportunity to teach you Evanesco, the vanishing spell. You can cast Evanesco to vanish certain objects, such as these chairs and other things here in the room. I suggest you practice the wand movements first, then you can clear the chairs away. Alright, new spell. Okay, and we're gonna Splendid. Add. Now, cast Evanesco on those chairs. Add them to this spell set. Excellent work. You'll note that you are now in possession of Moonstone. We shall discuss its uses later. Let's move on. Where in Merlin's name is that elf? Is that... goodness? My old school bag. I wondered where that had got to. I can't believe it's still here. I'll just oh, take a quick look at this. Yes. Give you an opportunity down. to Some explore on your own until we locate This jack-in-the-box isn't yes, Easter Professor. egg, it's actually Snape. Alan Rickman. May he rest in peace. I hope this isn't as precarious as it looks. An intruder! Stop them! No, not... Uh, that's not helpful, you worthless pile of tin! How does anyone other than a house elf manage to get around in here? What 
was that? Was that a golden snitch? Perhaps you should summon your wits and find out. I hope that house elf can find us in here. Oh, door, there man. you are. Wait right there. Deke will come to you. <clears throat> Hello. Ah, oh, Deke, we've been looking for you. Uh, apologies, Professor Weasley. Deke was looking through some of what's appeared in the room since Deke was last here. Is this the student? He's so Indeed cute. Indeed it is. <laughs> Deke is honored to meet you. Deke has been a friend since I was a second year. We discovered this room together. I mentioned you to Deke. We believe that you might be able to benefit from this room like I did. Deke, would you be so kind? Of course, Professor Weasley. The Room of Requirement will always be equipped for the Seeker's needs. It's unplottable, so won't appear on any map. Most happen upon it by accident, if ever. Deep seen students in need of an extra file for potions stumble upon the room filled with them. You seem to have accessed it in its form as the Room of Hidden Things. I was thinking about needing a place away from prying eyes. Brilliant. Oh, that explains it then. What I need specifically is a place where I can catch up on my schoolwork without distraction. Well then, the room can provide you with precisely that. What now, to deal with it's effort. time to focus on what you need. In the Just room. close your eyes. Imagine the room precisely as you need it. The room will do the rest. Then. You've given yourself quite a canvas to work with. I look forward to seeing what you do with the space. Ah, and it seems the room has provided you with a desk of description. Excellent. It can identify unfamiliar items of clothing. One should always understand the effects of anything in which one is clothed. There we go. You'll find plenty of Tan items of clothing that need to be identified. The desk will be an invaluable resource. I imagine the desk of description will come in handy. It will. I hope you'll take advantage of it. Now, I'll give you a brief lesson in conjuring. The room might not provide everything you need on its own. Conjuring? Yes. The magic of creating or conjuring objects. I'll teach you. That's what Thomas Brown was telling you about. Very good. When conjuring more complex objects, you'll need what's called a spellcraft. Spellcrafts are like recipes. They list the ingredients or resources needed to conjure a particular object. You should have acquired some for a potion station and potting table from tomes and scrolls in Hogsmeade. I did. Where can I find the resources I need? While resources such as Moonstone can be obtained throughout the Highlands, it's much safer and easier to purchase them. 
They can also be collected by vanishing objects in the room, such as the chairs you vanished earlier. In fact, you should have enough resources for now. I see. Can I regain resources by vanishing something I've already conjured? You can indeed. Hmm. Quite perceptive. Why don't you give it a try? Go ahead and conjure the potion station and potting table. You should find both familiar since they'll resemble the ones you've already used to study magical plants and brew potions in class. All oh, right, let's add that to our bar. Okay, where do we want to put them? We're going to move them later, so it doesn't really matter where we put them right now. Um, cause we bought a T-shaped one. And we're going to place that one eventually. And we also bought a bigger potting station. Oops, that's not the one we're supposed to be. She's not supposed to know we bought that. <laughs> these are the ones we bought as part of well the story done. quest. Line. You can use these whenever you need to brew potions or grow plants. Presuming, of course, you've collected any seeds or potion ingredients you need in Hogsmeade or outside the castle grounds. Deke will be here to answer any questions you may have. Do not underestimate his insights. Can you tell me a bit more about Deke? He's been at Hogwarts longer than I have, and seems to know it's every nook, cranny, and secret. We discovered this room together when I was a student. Deke has had a good deal of experience, both here at Hogwarts and at a previous post. I shall let Deke tell you more when he's ready, but again, you would be wise to listen to any suggestions he may have. Can I use this type of transfiguration magic outside of the room? Conjuring and vanishing are strictly forbidden elsewhere in the castle. We've charms in place to enforce that. It would be exhausting to reverse the errors in both judgment and magic. But the room of requirement has its own rules. I will be sure to speak with Deke if I need anything. Thank you. Good luck. I shall linger a bit longer in case you'd like to learn another transfiguration spell for use in the room. I'm ready for the next lesson, Professor. Very well. First, you'll need to gather some moonstone. You can acquire it by vanishing items here in the room of requirement, or you can gather it carefully outside of the Hogwarts grounds. Return to me once you've gathered enough, and we shall begin the lesson. I have the moonstone you requested, Professor. Good. Then we may begin your lesson. You can conjure more than potions and herbology tables. Conjuration can be used to decorate this space to your liking. Why don't you try it on the walls and floor? Alrighty. Let's see, here are our pictures. One more. Okay, five floor decorations. Rugs. Rugs. Good work. Shall we move on? Yes. I've conjured everything I can. What's next, Professor? I think you're ready to take on alteration. The altering spell will allow you to customize any conjured item. You can change the colors, patterns, and styles of your furniture to suit your taste. Let's get started, shall we? Watch closely as I demonstrate how to perform the altering spell.
Just aim your wand at any conjured item and perform the altering spell to customize it. Okay, let's add that to our set. There we go. We'll change the color. Oh, we can't change the color of, a, of the rugs. Let's do this chair. We can do everything to this chair. It's hard not to highlight the wall behind it, though. I should move it. <laughs> chair. See, I've got the floor selected. All I want is this chair. Oh, good. I can get the, um, the, um, chandelier thing. Okay, we change that. Change the color of an item. Gonna change the size. Watch out, watch out. Now I wanna make it smaller. And now change the color. Oops. I just wanna change the color. I didn't want to move it all over the room. There we go. Now it's saying adjust size. Uh, I guess you have to do it when they ask you to do it. I already adjusted the size. Everything is highlighted. I'm trying to unhighlight the room. I just want to highlight the chair. There we go. Nicely done. Now you're ready for something a this. little more advanced. Okay, you can use balcony. the altering spell directly on the room's architecture. Try these new designs on the floor or balcony. That didn't count. Okay, let's do it again. Oh, this will apply the room requirement. Confirm. I didn't confirm, I guess. And it's still asking me to alter the balcony or the floor. I just altered the balcony. All right, let's try the floor. I just did the balcony. Your space might benefit from a bit of ambiance, don't you think? Deke, would you mind? Of course, Professor Weasley. Professor Weasley showed Deke this bit of magic some years ago. Deke thinks you'll enjoy it. Uh, come and talk to Deke when you're ready. Okay, just let me get rid of these rugs. I did them for the lesson, but I don't like them. these uh, pictures either. Okay, Deke. Professor Weasley said I should ask you about changing the room's ambiance. Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? Um... Not dark, not moonlit, so that just leaves our I'd like the room to feel natural and earthy, as though I'm outdoors. 
Oh, sounds perfect. Hmm, quite a difference. Of course, you needn't keep this style if you don't like it. You can always ask Deke to change it back. Now you have learned a good bit about alteration. Thank you, Professor. The room is full of possibilities. Indeed. No matter how much time I spend here, the room always manages to surprise me. An even bigger space. How did that happen? The room equips itself to your needs. It must have sensed that you needed more space to practice spell casting. If you'd like to customize the space further, you can use these spell crafts. You'll find more of them both inside and outside the school. Thank you, Professor. I shall keep an eye out. Good. I'll leave you to it. This is your space now. Use it wisely. Wow, this is jam-packed. We went and found Jackdaw. We learned how to fly. Now we've got to get our room of requirement in order. I will um, conjure something to mark this um, that this goes downstairs because I always forget where to go how to get downstairs um, um, not of error these are my other tables that I'm gonna go put downstairs I don't have any statues yet I haven't unlocked any I'll, I'll put a statue over here uh, when I get a chance. I'm going to take these downstairs. And we're going to put, oh, let's get rid of this set. It's the last pieces. Oops. Hit the wrong thing. Okay, we're going to put our um, potions and potting tables over here. Start with potions. We've got our T-shape potions table. Then we've got our regular single table. We're going to put our um, start our potting area. Let's see, we've got this single one. Um, put that one there. Then we've got the one that has five. I mean three. I couldn't afford the, f the other one. That's right. we got to get more galleons together. Okay. And I thought I purchased I did. Here it is. Um, the large one. So we need that for the bigger plants. Okay. Now we've got seeds. 
in our stash. So what do we want to put here? Let's put not grass and girl get down. What you doing? Um Malawite Mandrake not grass and Dittany. All of those t are in smaller pots. So let's do our mallow sweet. I thought I had something that needed a big pot. I guess I couldn't afford the seeds. So now I don't have to run back to Herbology to get my Dittany. Where's the mandrake? There we go. So I've got each plant going, one of each plant going. Yes. Okay, yeah, so I'll save these four. Oh no, I have a venomous tentacular. It just didn't show up because the pot wasn't big enough, I guess. So there we go. And then I need um that plum thing. Do I have that seed? Flux wheat is large. Shrivel fig is what I need. Flux wheat is large too. So I have all my seeds. Let me put a shrivel fig. And I you can only conjure up so many of each type of um item. So let me see if I can do another large. Potting table for my other seeds. Okay. So large potting table. Yeah. I didn't buy the medium one. Okay, so I planted the venomous tentacular and the shrivel fig. Okay, so we need to plant Chinese chopping the flux weed. Isn't that cool? Look how it waters itself. And the cabbage. Because even though the cabbage only takes a medium plot, um, you can go ahead and put it in the larger one. So, okay, I've got one of every plant going. Now let's get these potions going, because I have no potions. Focus, because I need these for my next um, extra curricular activity for Professor Sharp. Maxima. And... Okay. Yeah, because he wants me to use focus, acquire and use focus, acquire maxima and adurus potions and use them simultaneously, which means I'm going to have to drink them both. So we got those going. Got to go meet Sebastian. Gotta go buy a broom. Oh, and I have a, a side quest I can do for the potions guy. We can do that. All right, we finished off another challenge. Always a good thing. What did we do here that was new? Oh all those spiders wow look at how many spiders i killed i'm on the third <laughs> level of that challenge that's how many spiders i had to kill not happy about that but and i'm almost up to enough i've almost leveled up again so where do i want to put this point we're now in the room of requirement Let's make our, since we have to use the Adurus potion as an extra assignment, let's make it work better than it normally would. Why not? I've got Alpost 
Oh yeah, this is where he's asking me. Good day to you. I require assistance with a delivery and thought you might be interested. Please visit me at J. Pippin's Potions. If you'd like to earn a few coins, Perry Pippin. We always want to earn some galleons because we want to buy seeds and more equipment and uh, now that we have the room of requirement we have somewhere to put everything so yeah because we gotta kill time until Professor Fig gets back 41 you will go and sell all of this stuff which by the way I didn't point out that um, we now have 24 gear slots because we did that Merlin's trial. So we need to try to find some more Merlin's trials so that we can uh, get another four gear slots. Because we do like to loot. We like to get our loot. All right, so let's make this hat invisible. Even with her new hairstyle, the hats just don't do it for me. I'm not sure I like those glasses either. Let's do some less conspicuous. They look like Mrs. Weasley. Okay, there we go. Our collections are coming along too. Look at that, 55 pages. Yeah, not bad. We're almost done with this wonder what ingredient we're missing. Oh, we haven't killed one of those. Um, there's some couple. Never mind. We'll get there when we get there. But there's a couple more critters that we can get ingredients from. 33 seconds, 10 seconds, and 15 seconds. Oh, we could throw something on here too. What do we have ingredients for? Wigan Well. It's kind of a waste to make Wigan Well Potion because that's something that the enemies drop and that you can find in, in bags and things out in the world. So, don't really need to make Wigan Well Potion because you can only hold 25. I've already have 20. And also playing on story mode, you don't uh, die as easily as you do if you were playing normal or, or hard. Alright, so we've got our potions to do our extra credit homework. And uh, we'll be able to harvest ingredients to make more potions as we move along now that we've got the room of requirement. Alright, good deal. I think that that is enough for this episode. We, we've done quite a lot. We've got Jackdaw's um, request. I want to take a picture with Deke. Let's do a selfie Deke. How do I get my character to turn around? And how do I get Deke to be still? I guess I can't. I guess I'd have to interact with him. Aww. Bye Deke. He's in here. It's too dark in here. I can take a picture with you, boo-boo. Oh, well, maybe later. Okay, so anyway, we've gotten Jackdaw's request done. We have gotten our room of requirement access. We have gotten some more spells. We've unlocked our talents.